Hola amigos, I am very excited to bring you this brain teasing dynamic uh, flow <laughs> and it's going to be quite challenging so if you need to ease off at certain points then I encourage you to do so. You might need a couple of blocks for this otherwise it's just your lovely self and a mat. I'll see you in a moment. So let's start by sitting on our heels today. If you need to open out the ankles and use a couple of blocks um, underneath your butt, then you're welcome to do so. Bring your hands onto your lap and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, exhale through the mouth, seal the lips and continue to breathe in and out through the nose with a gentle constriction in the back of the throat. So your exhales sound a little bit like this. So it sounds a little passive aggressive, but um, yoga teachers don't admit it, but passive aggressive sounds sexy to us. So be very sexy. <laughs> All right. So by constricting the back of the throat, we're connecting with our ujjayi breath, which connects us to the present as we can't breathe for the future or breathe back into the past. Setting aside what's happened before this class behind us and whatever that needs to be addressed in the future to be dealt with after this. So fully committing ourselves to the next 30 or so minutes and as we're here Let's invoke some excitement and humility for what's to come. So fun things are definitely coming, but also challenging things. So when you stumble and fall, know that what you're seeing on the screen has been rehearsed several times, many a times. And when we do fall out, then laugh it off and jump back in and enjoy it. So I'm excited, I hope you are too. <laughs> Start to open your eyes into a soft gaze. Inhale, lengthen up the spine. Exhale as you bring your right left hand onto your right knee, right fingertips behind, and a gentle twist over towards the right. Inhale back through center and switch sides. Right hand, left knee, left fingertips behind. Just a gentle twist, don't crank. Inhale back through center and then twist again, maybe bringing your gaze along with the twist this time. Inhale through center, exhale, twist. Come back through center, then bring both your hands behind you, press your fingertips into the ground, bend your elbows and scoop them in so the elbow creases are facing forwards. Start to straighten your arms as you broaden the collarbones and feel the shoulder blades come together behind you, supporting the upper back. Inhale, breathe into the upper chest. Maybe start lifting the chin and the gaze up and then exhale, relax it down. I'm gonna shift forward so I'm facing the front of the mat. Coming onto our hands and our knees, you might need to or want to paddle out the feet a bit just to give some more blood back down to those toes. And then shift side to side with, on your shoulders, on your wrists. <laughs> Shifting side to side, letting the weight be poured into the outer edges of the hands and then start to turn your fingers 
to point outwards in a circle. Still feeling the weight, feeling the sensations in the hands as we're introducing weight into them. Going slow and we're going to keep going until the fingers are pointing towards our knees. And when they do, we're going to shift back our heels, our hips back towards our heels and shift forwards and back a few times. So the heels of the hands can lift off the ground. Observe how that feels in your forearms, in your wrists, in your fingers. You can bend your elbows a little bit as well. You don't need to lock out your arms. And then shifting forwards, slowly shifting side to side as we make our circle back. When the fingers are pointing directly out of the mats, shift your shoulders side to side. Maybe start pressing your finger pads into the ground, lifting the middle of the fingers, having some spider fingers. Press your knuckles into the hand as well, your knuckle pads. Then even out both sides, coming back through center, and then continue in this circle forwards. Then keep the circle going, so your fingers are gonna start turning towards each other. And go as far as what's comfortable for you and bend the elbows and straighten. Bend and straighten. Maintaining that steady breath as we do these exercises or movement. And then we'll make our way back so the fingers are pointing towards the top of the mat. Very nice, okay. Using your left hand to support you, inhale, reach the right hand up to the sky. Exhale, thread the right hand underneath and through, hovering the arm. Inhaling, reaching the right hand up. Exhale, hand down. Straighten the right leg behind you. Turn that back heel down as you turn your left foot out to the side of the mat. Again, left hand supports you as you reach your hand up. Supported side plank. Then lift that right leg up so it's level with the ground. Bend the knee and then plant that foot onto the ground. And then with your hand, knee and foot supporting you, bend your right elbow as you open the chest out, gazing up and breathing all through the chest. Inhale expands. As you exhale, straighten the right hand, lift the right leg up, bring that foot down, turn the left foot and basically transition back into our tabletop. All right, right hand supports you. As you inhale, reach the left hand up. Exhale, twist through, thread it through, hover the hand. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hand down, straighten the left leg turn the back heel down, and then turn the right foot out to the side. Right hand supports as you open out the chest, reaching the left hand up. Then lift the left leg off the ground. Bend the knee, plant it onto the ground, and start to open out your chest. Bend the elbow, breathe into the upper back, mid back. And then reversing, straightening the arm, lifting the leg, turning back down, hand down, left leg bends, <laughs> and right leg comes back. So you can stay in that supported side plank for the next round or come into a full plank. Using your left hand to support you, inhale, right hand up. Exhale, thread it through. Inhale up. Exhale, down, straighten both legs into a plank. Turn both heels over to the left, staggered side plank, open out with your left right hand. Lift that right leg up, plant it down onto the ground, press your foot into the ground, lift the hips, maybe reach the hand up and back, 
a wild thing variation. On your next exhale, come back into that staggered side plank, then plank, and then tabletop. Moving on to the next side, inhaling, left hand up, exhale, thread it through, inhale up, exhale, down, plank, staggered side plank, open out, left leg comes up, bend it, place it behind the right knee, and then open out the chest, reaching that left hand up and back, breathing into the side ribs, and then reverse it, left hand up, staggered plank, plank and tabletop. All right, so we're gonna come back to sit on our heels, noticing the difference already from that warm up. Then bring your hands out in front of you, roll your wrists in one direction, roll the wrists in another direction. <clears throat> Then bring your thumbs so they point up towards the sky. Bring them into your armpits, scoop your chest up, and then lift your elbows, and then lower. Lift up and down, up and down. So at this point, you should question why you're doing a chicken dance, and we should probably stop doing that. So let's transition into a downward facing dog. So come into a plank position first, like you just did, and then with shoulders over your wrists, bend your knees, and then lift the hips up into a downward facing dog and do whatever you normally do to settle into your first downward facing dog by maybe pedaling out the feet. So as yoga teachers, we try our best to communicate cues to facilitate a safe practice, but it's impossible for cues to be able to cater for everybody and everybody's practice. You can sway your hips side to side if you want. And so if something doesn't feel right or sound right, then it might not be right for you. And I encourage you to ease out of it, whatever you're doing, take a step back and try to understand how the cues translate to you. So we're gonna inhale, ripple the forward, ripple the chest up and over and forwards, bringing shoulders over our wrists, then bend the knees as you exhale, send it back into downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple up and over, doming the spine. Exhale, send the hips back and up. One more time expanding the chest, filling it up as you come forwards. Exhale, send it back. Bring your right foot, cross it in front and over towards the left side. And then bring your left foot in front and across to the right side. And keep crisscrossing, apple sourcing the feet to the front of the mat. Once you get to the front, Switch, nice. Inhale, lift up halfway, hands on thighs, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bring your hands onto your shins as you lengthen the spine forwards. Exhale, come back down. One more time, inhale, hands can be on tops of feet or fingertips on ground. Exhale, Lower down. Start to bend the knees, lower the hips slowly down to the ground. Then bring your butt onto the ground. If you've got a couple of blocks, now is the time to use them. So bring the blocks behind you, coming into a reverse tabletop position. So feet are pointing forwards. This time our fingertips, are, our fingers are gonna be pointing backwards. So as we come into our tabletop, I want you to open up the collarbone so the shoulder blades broadens and that supports your upper back. Okay. Press into the hands, press into the heels of the feet, bring the knees 
over the heels and lift your hips up, maybe a little bit higher than you want to. And hopefully your shoulders should be over your wrists as well. Take a deep breath here. It's all going to be okay. Okay, start to lift the heel of your right foot up and flex your right foot and then tap your foot onto the outer edge of the left side and then back. Left heel, left toes, right side and back. So right side heel, toe, side, back. Left heel, toe, side, back. Three more, heel, toe, side, back. Each side, heel, toe, side, back. Right heel, toe, side, back. Pressing into the hands, heel, toe, side, back. Heel, toe, side, back. Heel, toe, side, back. I think it's one last time. Heel, toe, side, back. Heel, toe, side, and back. Nice. Press your left hand into the ground. As you inhale, reach your right hand up and over, and then back down. Right, press your right hand into the ground as you reach your left hand up and over, and back down. Shifting my block a little bit, okay. Inhale, right hand up and over, exhale, back down. Inhale, left, exhale, inhale, right. Exhale, inhale left, exhale, two more each side, inhale right, exhale, inhale left, exhale, inhale right, exhale, inhale left, exhale, lower the hips down, maybe shake out the wrists, roll out the wrists. We're going to knit those two movements together. So as your right hand, for example, comes up and over, the left foot comes underneath and through. And reverse that by left hand coming up and over, right hand, right foot comes underneath and through. Okay? Because life is not complicated enough. <laughs> Let's come into a reverse tabletop. Okay, we're starting with our right hand. So press into the left hand, reach your right hand up and over as we thread the left foot underneath and through. Exhale, inhale, left, right foot through. Exhale, inhale, right and left foot. Exhale, inhale, left, right foot. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I think I've lost count. Inhale, exhale, Oop. inhale, exhale. Let's see, that's the last one. Lower the hips down, take the blocks out the way. And we're gonna transition back to downward facing dog. And once we transition, we'll be lifting our right leg up and bringing it into the chest. So as we do so, I want you to bend the elbows and bend the left knee so it's close to the ground during our transition. And as you complete your exhale, squeeze everything into the chest and straighten the arms and straighten the legs. So that will give us a lot of space. So it'll look like this. From a downward facing dog, lift up into a three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knees. Bend the knee, bend the elbow, bring in the right knee into the chest and straighten on the last moment. Okay, so transition to downward facing dog by crossing the knees, the shins. You can step, hop, jump back, however you like. I'll give you a couple of breaths to get there. Take your time. All right, let's get ready for our main sequence. Inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. 
Exhale, bend the elbows, the knees, bend the knee into the chest. Completely exhale, press everything into the ground and then turn your right foot out to the side and straighten it. So right foot comes down to the ground, turn the left heel down, right hand supports as you open out on your inhale to a fallen triangle. Exhale, left foot down, inhale, right foot up. Exhale, bend everything, snake through, straighten out, then right foot comes in line with the right, uh, with the hip. Turn the back heel down as you inhale, open out, exhale, hand down, inhale, left foot up, exhale, snake forwards, straighten everything, and then right foot in line with toes. Turn the heels down, left hand up, and then continue to open out the chest and drop the left hand down, coming into a reverse table. Looks familiar. The left foot is gonna come up and over, press the left hand into the ground as the right hand comes up and over, downward facing dog. You should be off the mat or in an awkward angle. So right foot again crosses over the left foot as you shift forwards and then reach the left hand up and over. Reverse table. Left foot under, right hand up and over. Okay. One more time, right foot crosses under, shift forwards, and then left hand up and over. Reverse table. Then left foot over, under, right hand up and over. So as you can see, I'm not on my mat anymore. So just transition to a downward facing dog to the back of the mat. And we'll reverse it through the left side. So inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, bend everything, snake forwards, straighten everything on the completion of the exhale. Left foot out to the side, right heel down, open out as you inhale. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, come forwards, straighten. Left foot out in line with hip, turn back heel down. Inhale, fall in triangle variation. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, exhale, squeeze everything in as you complete your exhale. Left foot in line with toe, turn the toes down. Reach your right hand up and over, reverse table. So this time the right foot comes underneath and through as the left hand reaches up and over. Left foot crosses, shift forwards, right hand up and over, reverse table. Right foot under, left hand up and over. One more time, so left foot Crosses under, right hand up and over, reverse table, then right foot under, left hand up and over. Whew. Well, <laughs> that was that. <laughs> Inhale, ripple the body up and over. We've done this before. Exhale, bend the knees, send the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Inhale, Ripple the body forwards, feeling the wave. Exhale, back and up. One last time. Inhale. Exhale. Then, well, one and a half times. Inhaling, coming forwards into our plank, and then lower the knees and tuck the toes. Walk the hands back into a seated on the heels. So feel the difference now, from the beginning, the near middle, and now closing. So the heart might be pumping a little bit faster, the shoulders might be feeling it. Those are the main sensations. Try to notice the subtler sensations. Maybe in the toes. Maybe in the hips. Maybe in the face. Okay. 
Nice. All right, we're going to roll out the wrists a few more times as it's been quite a heavy class on the hands. Wrap your right hand around your left wrist, squeeze it tightly and then pull the skin down and then make a fist with your left hand and roll out the wrist. Should feel everything on the back side of the hand stretch out. Okay. And if you need to also squeeze the forearms and anywhere in the hand as well to help release any tension. Okay, let's do it on the right hand. So wrap your right wrap your left hand with wrap <laughs> wrap the wrist with your left hand is what I meant to say, and then pull the skin down. Make a fist with the right hand and rotate the hand. Oh, feels really good to stretch all of that out. Okay, and then press into the hands, the forearms. Bring the hands down, loop the shoulders a few times. and then reverse the direction. Okay, and then shift forwards, cross the ankles, come back to seated, straightening the legs in front of us and coming down onto our backs. Bring your hands in a cactus position or a T and then bring your feet about mat's distance apart and start swaying the knees side to side. Starting to let the breath slow down, but remain even. Okay, let's bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Feel your low back, press into the ground. And let's open out into a happy baby. So hands onto the insides of the legs. They can come onto the outer edges of the feet or onto or piece fingers on the big toes or ankles. And again, feel your low back stamping onto the ground, shoulders on the ground, and you're pulling your knees towards your shoulders. And press your feet into your hands to create a little bit of resistance there. You can stay here or open out one leg and bend it back and straighten up the other leg. We can go for a full straddle. Taking a few moments to just play with this happy baby. Relax the forehead, the jaw. And bring your knees in towards each other. Give yourself a last squeeze and then straighten out the legs. Bring them as wide as the mat, feet splayed out, arms alongside the body. We'll have a minute or so of just lying in Shavasana, watching the breath flow in and out of the nostrils, allowing our body to rest. I like to think of Shavasana as an opportunity for the mind to consolidate all the lessons you've just learnt and recalibrate. Allow the points of contact with the ground to just soften a little bit more. I'll be back in a few moments. Mm -hmm. 
start to draw in a few deep breaths. Feel your body slowly respond and waken with the inhaling of fresh air. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. Then bend the knees in towards the chest. Just give yourself a squeeze, then roll off onto your right side, keeping your eyes closed for the time being. Press your left hand into the ground and make your way up into a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands together by the heart. Slowly open your eyes. Thank you so much for practicing today. You've made it, you survived. That was super fun for me to teach and film. And I hope to see you next time.